Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Belinda and we're here today to um, work on a craft. Um, all the supplies are very easy to find. You can get them at the Dollar Tree or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, the only thing you might have trouble finding is your pool noodles, but you can always find them probably at the dollar store or maybe you even have some at home. Um, okay, so today we're going to make a cactus plant um, using our pool noodle, noodles, uh, using some um, moss that we're going to use to stuff in our pot here, and this is our pot, and some flowers, and some toothpicks, which is, you can find those anywhere at the dollar store, <laughs> Jewel. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is, I already cut my pool noodles, but um, usually they come like in one length, a really long length, so I actually cut it in half so that I could use it, or even a third would be enough, because depending how big your pot is, you may not have enough room for only three. I don't think you'll go with any more than three. Okay, so you're gonna cut your pool noodles and they're gonna be in different sizes, different lengths. Okay, so here's here's your three different lengths. Okay, now we're going to glue them into our pot. Okay, so I have my glue gun all ready to go. And you're gonna put a little notch in them because I think they will um, stay better. You can put them together if there's that little notch. So you're going to put some glue on them. Oh, and this is really hot, so you have to be careful with this glue. Maybe it's something that mom can help you with, or dad, or an uh, older brother or sister. So you have to put enough glue on it so that it'll stay into the pot. And you could even get these supplies maybe at Menards because they still have a lot of their summer stuff out. Okay, so I'm gluing that one in. Let's see where I can put it where you can see it. Okay, and this is my other one. And see how I cut like a notch out here? Okay, so now I'm going to put the glue here. And I'm even going to go up into the notch area a little bit because I want them to sort of stay together. Okay, like on an angle. And I actually, this pot was so deep that I stuck some stuffing in there to hold it so that it doesn't wobble around too much. And that gives a little more support to your pool noodles. Okay, so now I'm going to put the, the smallest one in. And you'll see as it starts to come together how how cute it looks. Okay, so now I'm going to get this one in. Okay, so I have them all in. Okay, I know it doesn't look like um, cactus right now, but it's going to get there. So after you do that, you want to make sure that that glue dries really nice. Then I get some of my stuffing. You could either use, this is green moss that I got at the Dollar Tree, or you could use, if you want to put little pebbles inside there, it's just to make it look like it's a plant that's growing in the ground. Because this is all pretend this isn't a real plant. So you don't want to use any dirt or anything from outside, but it's just to give it the appearance that it's growing out in the desert or in your backyard if you live in Arizona. Okay, because that's where cactus usually grow in the desert or in this in the states where it's really hot, like Arizona, California, uh, Nevada, places where it's really hot. Because cactus can grow and live 
for a long time and they don't really need a lot of water like the plants that we have in our backyards do. Okay, so now it looks like it's coming together. Okay, so I've got my three pool noodles in here and they're different sizes. So it makes it look like a cactus is growing because cactuses all don't grow the same size. There's some that are longer, some that are skinny, some that are really big and rounded. There's all different kinds. But this is a simple one we're gonna to make today. Okay, so the next thing you already see, I have toothpicks, my toothpicks. So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna be putting your toothpicks in and you just push them down a little bit and that is to show like the cactus have the little prickly edges on them and that's what they grow when you, instead of um, a lot of leaves they'll grow these little prickly edges and they're pretty sharp if you walk past a cactus and you're not careful you could really hurt yourself get stuck sort of like having a porcupine right next to you so you're going to stick those into the cac into the pool noodle because that's what makes it look like a cactus okay so you're going to need quite a few i imagine maybe this box is 500 i don't think you'll need that many unless you want to put a lot you can put a lot if you want but i'm just going to put them gradually around so you just stick them in not too far I and mean, you want them to be able to be sticking out so that they show like they're a cactus okay all over okay and wait till you see how cute they're going to look when we put that last final touch on okay so here we're going around just staggering them into the the pool noodle and I guess if you can't find a green one you can probably use another color too it's just a pretend um, craft I mean I've seen some cactus out in Arizona when I visited there that are actually growing their stems are brown so if you found one that's orange or I think that would probably work too. There wouldn't be any problem with that. Okay, so we're gonna keep going around and around just so you get the idea of what you're doing. And you wanna put them on all sides. So like I said, you don't, you can't cover the whole thing, but just to make it have the appearance of a cactus. Okay, I think it's looking pretty cute. Okay. See, cactus don't grow in Illinois, so you won't see any cactus here unless you go to the store and sometimes maybe in the flower department you might see some that they have that they're selling. But it's pretty rare that you see them in, even in the store. Okay, so this is how they're starting to look takes a while to get these all in so it's something that you might even work with it until after we're done with showing how to do the craft because it takes a little bit of time and I think if I put all the ones that I want to put in here <laughs> we would probably run out of time on our on our video here but it's just to give you the idea okay so you don't want to leave any big gaps because I see one right here. And right here is another one. It looks like I got my little one here pretty good. I got that in there pretty good. Oh, but they're, they're sharp. You have to be careful. If you stick your hand in the wrong spot, you're going to get stuck. But thank goodness these are just toothpicks because... I bet a real cactus would really hurt if you got it stuck into your finger. You'd probably have to have mom or dad help you get it out with a tweezer because it would probably really hurt. 
Okay, so I had quite a few here. It looks like I'm using most of them up. But like I said, I'm probably going to keep going with this even after the video is off. Okay, so there you go. That looks sort of like a cactus, but I think we can put a little bit more. I think we have time for some couple more just to give you the full effect. Okay, so now comes the, the last part is the really interesting part that I like and it makes it look so pretty. Okay, so I went to the dollar store and I bought just a little bunch of flowers that they had and I thought pink would be pretty. But if you want to use orange or green, well, depending if you, I don't know if green would go real good here. But um, you can pick any color you want or any size. I mean, you want it. You want to have it enough to cover. You don't have. To, it can't be really small. But we're going to put some glue on the edge here, and all around, so it stays in the little hole there. It's at the top. Okay. And we're going to stick it down in there and press it down very gently. Okay, it looks like I need another glue stick in here, so I'm going to put that in. Okay, and here's our other one. Like I said, I think in a pot this size, three is probably at the limit as far as what you're going to be able to put in there. Because you want to be able to work with it and you want to be able to see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the, the second one going in. So I left a little bit of stem. I cut it with the scissors and I left a little stem in there so that you can have it go down in the hole here. I'll show you that. Okay, see there's a hole. Because when you cut these, you'll, you're going to see that hole is in there all the way through. Okay, so let's get this last one in. And I think they're coming out pretty cute. Okay, so now I'm Got the hot glue, and I didn't get burned this time, which is good, because usually I always end up with a little bit of burnt fingers, and that hurts. Okay, so this is our craft. And doesn't that look like, like a cactus plant? Okay, like I said, you can keep adding more of the um, toothpicks as you go along. I'm going to keep going until I finish up these. But that's what makes it look really like a cactus, is if you put out, put a lot of toothpicks in there. Just be really careful that you don't stick yourself or you don't let little brothers or sisters get a hold of these because they could hurt themselves with it. This is definitely a craft that needs some adult supervision. So I know, and I know moms and dads would be more than happy to help you with it. Okay, so I'm going to put my last one in. I still have a whole bunch in the box, so when we finish up, I may go back and do it some more. But this is how it's supposed to look. So doesn't that look like a, a potted cactus plant? I think it does. It looks very cute. Okay, so I hope you'll get a chance to work on one at home. Um, You'll, we'll have the instructions on how to do it, which is very simple, and you can follow along with the, with the video here. And I will have a list of the instructions and the supplies that you need to um, do this type of craft. So I hope you had a great day and um, enjoyed the craft very much. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Take care now. Bye now.